Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb giving you this week's story on magnesium and healthy kids' bones. Dr. Abrams at the American Academy of uh, Pediatric Society of Academic Doctors just presented a study this week that's totally fascinating. Looking at calcium and magnesium, he took 63 kids, age 4 to 8, and he got precise food diaries on these children. Uh, in fact, even weighing with scales the food they were eating at home, and then they brought them into the hospital and weighed the food they ate there and chemically analyzed their food so they knew exactly what the kids were getting. On top of that, then they gave the children uh, a isotope of calcium and magnesium that was not radioactive, it was just a different uh, weight, by IV and orally, and then measured how much they excreted in their urine over the next a couple of days so they could measure precisely how much they hung on to and what it went into their bone and then how dense their bones became by DEXA scan. By, this was a very rigorous methodology of seeing which contributed most to bone health. What they found was not what you would expect. You probably thought calcium makes for stronger bones. What they found was calcium had no measurable impact at all. It was the magnesium that predicted strong bones. Now, why is building strong bones important? Well, your bone strength as a kid predicts what you're going to be when you're 65 years old. So building strong bones, you peak in your late teens, and that really predicts what you're going to be way later in life. We have an epidemic of broken bones in our frail elderly. So building strong bones early is a crucial strategy. Now, we talked just two weeks ago about the comb study, combination of micronutrients for bone health in adults. And in that study, we showed that magnesium was also a critical component. They added magnesium as a supplement and they didn't add calcium. They also added vitamin D, fish oil, strontium, and regular daily exercise, and not to be forgotten, K2. We probably need to add K2 to our kids' diets as well, just as much for adults. We probably need to make sure our kids are playing outside and getting good exercise and good sunshine, and during the winter, getting adequate vitamin D. The outcome will be your kids have stronger bones, and their entire lives they have less risk of fracture. That's the best news we can bring. So what will work for me? Get your kids outside, get them playing, but also feed them magnesium-containing foods. Nuts and seafood and green leafy vegetables are probably the highest sources we can find. You can look it up on the internet, but spinach, for example, is a wonderful source of magnesium. Encourage your children to eat more uh, green vegetables if, if you can, and also see if they can't, then maybe you can find a, a supplement of magnesium, but do get some magnesium into their diet. This is Dr. John Whitcomb wishing you healthy kids and healthy bones.